So with race director Klaus, Klaus, when you created this course, what were you trying to achieve here? Actually, it's Michael Krueger that designed the course, yes. but 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 he, I think he tried to find a, a race when you have a lot of, it's a flat and fast yes. course, but you, but you need to have a course when you get motivated. So a lot of difference. Yeah, what, hills, what, hills, exactly. little hills, little exactly. wind. Exactly. Today you had a little rain as well. Yeah, exactly. It's the Denmark. Sometimes it rain, but not the whole day. So, yeah, it was an amazing start in the morning with a lot of sun and a little bit of rain. It's okay on the run, so a lot of people go out to yeah. see the race. So it was perfect. And Dirk Bockel, who's going to be turning 38 soon, and Dirk's had a tough, tough last couple of years. He ends up winning this race and I think this is a big comeback race for exactly him. I was so happy to see Dirk come back after one and a half year with a lot of problems so yes. it, I was so happy to see him back and yeah I, lo I love love this guy he's an amazing guy good for the sport and good for all the people so yeah we are so happy to have Dirk for the race so what's cool about it, there you are with Dirk congratulating him and what's cool about today is you had a 38 year old a guy who was about to turn 38 and at the same time you have a 21 year old Thomas Sranga who's 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 Danish yeah, exactly. he's a great athlete here it's an amazing job the guy from SDU uh, triathlon in, in Northern to work with all the young young triathletes and he's one of the upstarts Danish guys so. and what's great is here's a guy who's an Olympic distance format guy Dirk you nailed it yeah well not sure if I nailed it it wasn't perfect but it's a typical Viking weather here. Danish people are awesome. So many spectators. They cheer for me as if I'm one of their own. And, you know, I love Denmark. I love the people. And to, to show that appreciation with a win, I think it's perfect. So, you, you, Maximum. You said you will go maximum? Well, not all the time, uh, but I... The young kid, he was pushing the pace in the back. I wish I could have took the last 5K a little easier. But that's racing and... Uh, Raising his full gas till the end, and I'm the lucky one today. I'm very happy. Thanks to my coach, the sponsors, everyone. So I'm very happy. Two words from the young kid chasing you down. Yeah, now he's training with my coach, so I have a, I have a word with coach. Next time he can't race the same races anymore. It's way too stressful. No, honestly, he has a great future. And uh, now, concerning myself, I, I need to take a little bit of rest. World Championships coming up in two weeks. I need to freshen up a little bit, but that's a good comeback. I mean, can't be better than that, so. Congratulations. Thank you very much, thank you. And our second place youngster with probably the greatest race of his life, don't you think? Yeah, I think this is one of the best. Great job in third place. Close race here. What's the best result, or what? Yeah, my friend. I can't wait to hold. Third place. That's how I'm a little bit. Denmark 2015. Marcus Fafak from Germany. Hard. So that's why I'm going to have a podium. Oh. Hey, big love. Don't be glad it's your home, bro. And then back. the spoils. When you win a big race, Dirk Bockel, our podium. And there's there's nothing better than for someone like yourself seeing people get through the course. And, you know, you, you've seen a lot of races have this, but now this is your race yeah. with your three people on the on the victory stand. What were your thoughts? It, it was so it was so crazy to see that you have worked a lot for this race with all the team, uh, with the whole team and and see the happy faces on the podium. And we was happy the whole team. So it's, it's a fantastic day. Fantastic. Well, and, and the one thing as a race director, you always want it to be a fair race and you always want the best person to win sometimes though you might have a, a little favorite in the game because uh, your girlfriend michelle vester b leading coming into the run and but she had the honey badger right behind her mary beth ellis exactly. and that's a lot of pressure exactly. because michelle's strength has not been the run but today she ran like i've never seen a run before you no know, I, I had never seen michelle run so fast before and and i haven't seen him run today because i have a lot of work so normally i'm always on the side with michelle so this day maybe i should have a lot of the work when she wins yes. the race so yeah it was amazing it was so nice the first race and michelle win if I, yeah and i think what the other thing that was really cool is she wasn't planning the race right she was going to be on relay yes and so she was sort of the person making sure everybody's having a good time and she was at the kids race and she was at the women's run she's been busy all week and that probably kept her from being too worried about the race itself yeah i think michelle's motto is said keep smiling and when she's smiling and happy then everything everything is gonna happen so yeah
And she's also one of those people who seems to do better long, the longer the race is. She's got Ironman Frankfurt coming up. This bodes well for that. Yeah, I think she, she looks strong now. And then when she's so fast on the half distance now, uh, it's going to be fast race in, in Frankfurt. I think she will, yeah, she need the corner spot there. So. <laughs> Come on, Mia. 